One of my favourite games of all time on the Sega Master System is Ayrton Senna's Super Monaco Grand Prix 2. It handled fantastically and gave a succinct arcade experience that was very of that driving down the motorway and hanging on left and right as you had the turns kind of peer in front of you. Um, it also had a really good career structure as well, because you'd start off at Team Sega and then you'd try and bump other drivers out of their drive by challenging them as a rival and then nicking their seats. <laughs> Flash forward to 2021, and I get to see what used to be my childhood brought to beautiful, bold, and speedy realisation with Horizon Chase Turbo's DLC pack, Senna Forever. Now, I've never, ever done an actual voiced-over, edited review of a DLC pack until now, but the reason why I've chosen this one to go for it is because this is just exactly how I remember and still play my old childhood games from that kind of Sega Master System, I'll throw in ZX Spectrum as well, and into Sega Mega Drive era of gaming, just brought to life with all of the modern day amenities and quality of life features and fantasticness. This is exactly what I wanted from this DLC when it was announced. Now there's two modes to the DLC pack. The first one is like a career mode that follows you playing as Ayrton Senna going through five chapters of his career spanning over the decade. So the chapter one starts off with his first year in Tolman, then it moves to him going to Lotus, then it's about his McLaren years as you kind of go through and fight for your championships. Now Senna is the only licensed thing in this game, but what they do is he moves through these different chapters is all of the F1 teams and like drivers are fakely redone again so that you get to see 10 teams from like 1984 and 1980, like five and six. Then you get like 1989. Um, so and you see that the teams swatch out. So you've got like the pretend Benetton moving through different colour schemes and being bright and bold and beautiful. I get to enjoy seeing a Minardi knock off at the back of the grid having fun. Um with, I think they've called him like Luis uh, Perez Salsa or something. And I was like, mm-hmm. Because I love it when they do like knock off names and they try to make them funny. I do enjoy that. But I really appreciate the fact that all of that changes and the cars look very, very similar to the real world cars, but just the discount knockoff versions. And I love all of that. As you go through this uh, career mode, you need to finish fifth or higher in every race to kind of progress through the story. And you'll get like certain bits of information will pop out that kind of show off what Ayrton Senna's career was like. It's not deep. It's not like a story mission. It's just nice little memento bits on the side. Alongside this, you also have Senna Marks. And Senna Marks are three challenges that you can optionally complete to unlock more things and kind of achieve 100% of the game as you go along and that could be things like making a perfect start winning the race taking fuel from pickups that you have to collect as you go around the track uh, on certain laps and using certain nitro boosts on certain laps or not at all alongside that what as you go through this mode you'll be building up points and things like that to unlock other things that you can use in the essentially run a short championship mode on the long side and with that you can choose any car and be whoever you want essentially you aren't Ayrton Senna and so if you want to be that Minardi driver in 1989 yes you can you want to be in the Real go for it want to be Nakajima in a Lotus go nuts it's all good fun and I like the fact that there are proper sets of real teams. There's not real performance in any of it. It seems to be a bit of a free-for-all. There is a hierarchy, but um, it's very specific and standardised. But it's that exactly what I wanted from this experience. Um, just takes me right the way back to Ayrton Senna's Super Monaco Grand Prix 2. I can't speak highly of it enough. If you like that style of arcade gaming and you've got real rose-tinted lenses for that, you need this DLC because it is a proper nostalgia trip. And yeah, I've got a big grin on my face when I was playing it at like three o'clock this morning. <laughs> so thumbs up from me. If you've not played Horizon Chase Turbo before, I don't think I've done anything on this channel about it properly. But it's a fantastic retro game. You can play one to four player local multiplayer on split screen. Thoroughly good time, great in-depth career mode, and although this is a paid DLC that's come onto the back of this, they put out several free extra bumping packs 
uh, to bump out the content since. So it's a fantastic game if you've never played it before. I'm going to shut up and uh, go and get some laps out on track. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higher plane network. Your support makes all the difference, and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.